since we brewed the American Light Kit. And so now, day five, time to move it over into the secondary fermenter. Um, so you'll notice this is a bit different. Bing! I ended up going with a better bottle. Um, I have the glass carboy right now full of the Java stout we brewed, and um, it's sitting along, it's doing its thing. And I, I needed to pick up another carboy, so I went with the better bottle, mainly because I've heard that they're really light, they don't impart any flavors, um, so this is going to be probably the best test you could do because the American Light's like the lightest beer kit I could find um, uh, out there. And so if it, this doesn't part any flavors, we'll be able to tell, you know, right away. Um, I'm amazed at how lightweight this is. This has got a gallon of sanitizer sitting in it. I'm using Star Sand, which is why it's so foamy. And um, it is so much lighter than even the empty glass carboy. I was... I'm blown away by it. So hopefully this thing will live up to its name and I will probably, if it does, never buy another glass one um, unless I'm doing something, you know, like wine or something where, uh, well, heck, even wine you can do in these things. They do, uh, you can do beer or wine in them. So we'll see. Uh, so let me go ahead and finish uh, getting everything sanitized here and we'll get to transferring this in. All right, so we've got our better bottle here sanitized, the auto siphon and siphon tubing all sanitized, ready to go. And so let's pop the top on to see how it's doing. I can never pull these airlocks out very well. Maybe they get stuck in there. Ooh. The suspense. Ooh, not too bad. Ooh, that smells very beery. <laughs> okay. So take this. I'll make sure to not bump that end on anything. In it goes. I always gently just take mine all the way down to the bottom. And then we just give it a couple pumps here. And away it goes. It's a nice cloudy light yellow, which is good. Um, when I was doing the boil on this, I actually thought that it looked a little, a little dark, a little amber, more amber than I had hoped. But it actually looks like it, it's it's brightened up a bit. I don't know if maybe that was just my eyes because it, I did brew it a bit late at night, so. It was probably just my eyes. <laughs> but while that transfers there, we'll just chill out and wait. can see we've got this still right up to the top here good full batch um, so now what we're going to do we're going to take our stopper which has been sitting here in sanitizer it's one of the big uh, big rubber ones I've, I've never used one of these before but it's apparently the only size that fits the car these uh, better bottles jam that in there We've got our airlock here that's been sitting in sanitizer as well. In it goes. I'm just in this thing slipping and sliding around an awful lot here. You know, I think I'm actually going to daub it off with a clean napkin. Just so it sticks a little bit better. Just along the sides here. I don't want to, to get this thing in here and then it pop out. There we go. Yeah, because when I tried to put this thing in when it was dry, oh my gosh, I couldn't barely get it in at all. 
So we got that. We'll grab this little piece. In it goes. I'll grab my label here. I always like to use sanitizer for this. We just pour it in about to this halfway mark here. Like so. And last but certainly not least, our lid. Airlock's not much good without it. <laughs> and there we go. So now what we'll do is we will uh, set this. I'm going to go put it in the brew shelf. And I'm actually going to cover them up. I've got both, uh, I'm going to have both carboys covered up with cloth so that way uh, light doesn't get into them because they're going to sit in here for about about three weeks. The o or not the oatmeal, the Java stout's been sitting in there for about about a week already, actually. So um, this one, I'm pretty much only sitting this one in the secondary for it to clear out. The other one, I'm waiting on flavors to develop and the coffee to sort of get into it. But um, so both will sit there for about three weeks, covered, um, and we shall see uh, how they bottle. Should bottle just fine, obviously. Um, but then I'm going to be really interested in once we make the move to the the new apartment I'm going to, it'll be taste test time. So we'll see you then. Okay, so it's been a couple weeks and our American Light Ale here is ready to be bottled. Um, so before we do that, we're going to take our final gravity, give it a check, see how it's doing. Um, this one actually, uh, the gravity was much lower than I had anticipated. It came in at 1.006, I believe, just the other day. So let's see if it's still there. I went ahead and loosened this cap because it's the actual rubber one inside the better bottle here. Man, it was hard to get off there the other day. So. We've already got our uh, thief here sanitized, so it's ready to go. By far the lightest beer I've ever brewed. <laughs> I'm actually brewing this one for my dad. He does not like the darker beers. And he doesn't like the real hoppy beers either, so I'm hoping that this will be a nice middle ground, um, well, light ground. It's the lightest kit Midwest has. I actually called them to make sure it was absolutely the lightest flavor, <laughs> lightest body beer they, they have. So they recommended this one, so hopefully my dad will like it. Okay, we're still at 1.006. 2, 4, yeah, 1.006. So it's definitely good to go. It hasn't changed. Um, like I said, that is the lowest gravity I've ever gotten out of a batch, so it's nice to know that it fermented completely. And we'll give it a little bit of a prelim taste test here, like I always do. Super duper light. You can smell a little hoppiness in it. Not much, though. Very clean flavor, um, very, very light. Uh, this will be a lot better once it's carbonated and cold. Um, to be honest, drinking it warm, I'm not a big fan of it. But um, I bet this will actually be very, very good after after it's cleared out. It's still a little bit hazy. Obviously, it's still got a little bit of uh, settling to do. But um, once it clears out, gets good and carbonated, gets nice and cold. This one I think I'll drink really, really cold with that. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, so now what we're going to do, uh, this is back on here to make sure no air gets in. I've already got my tools here sanitizing. We're going to get the ale pail here, the bottling bucket, um, get that spigot installed, and then get it sanitizing. And uh, once we have that going, we'll get the water on, and we'll use our uh, bag of corn sugar here. Not all this, <laughs> obviously. I'm going to measure out about five ounces. It's about three quarters of a cup for our priming solution, and we should be good to go. So, see you in a second.